everybody, it's Car Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. Today we're giving you our before and after reactions to the Marshall trailer. All right, so it looks like Chadwick Boseman, before reprising his role as Black Panther, might want to win an Oscar. We thinking we got some Oscar bait here? You know, a biopic about a very important historical character right. typically goes for that type of thing. You know, we just had Selma recently, sure. so I could see this movie very much falling in line with that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of the direction this movie is trying to take. I'm not a not a bad idea. The no. movie's pretty successful. Yeah, so, uh, and you know, we've had some great biopics. I think in the last. 10 years with like Walk the Line was really good Ray was really good and even Chadwick Boseman did a biopic for James Brown I didn't see that one yeah now. I totally forgot about that I didn't see it either but yeah no that's interesting yeah I know it didn't get a lot of attention but I'll be interested to see like how this movie focuses I don't know that much about Thurgood Marshall's life story to know where the movie's gonna go I know from the synopsis that it doesn't look like they're gonna it's gonna be like a lifetime type mm. biopic like they're gonna pick one specific point in his life it looks like it's a case early on before he becomes a Supreme Court judge. Uh, just so, a lawyer. Yeah, so he's just a lawyer. Uh, so who knows? I mean, it, it could be, I, I see it being a little bit of a courtroom drama type thing. Kind of like maybe like a To Kill a Mockingbird type stuff. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, I'm with you. I'm curious to see kind of what direction they're going to take this movie. Well, let's check it out. Sure, yeah. You gentlemen are making a big mistake. This here is Mr. Thurgood Moss. He's the Black the Panther. He's an attorney. Don't mess with him. him. With the respect that he deserves. My great granddaddy, he was a slave. We're not slaves now. We got weapons we didn't have before. We've got the law. Baby, you go into these towns, we've never seen a Negro lawyer. Hey, boy! You need to be careful. NAACP. Very good. You're going to Connecticut. Joseph Spell, Negro servant, attacked socialite in her own bedroom. This case will show the world if a colored man can get a fair trial in the United States. There's only 13 million Negroes depending on you. Don't any of you have any confidence in me? I'd say you have enough confidence for mm -hmm. us all. I only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's my mission. I never touched that woman. I need a partner who the jury can relax Josh to. Sam Friedman. Good to meet you, Sam. Hey, give me a hand with these, would you? What have you got in here, cement? Guns. Books, Mr. Friedman. He just sweeps through town, stirring up all kinds of ugliness. My life is on the line here. Hey, Attorney Friedman, hold on a minute. What do you want? You're one of us now, Sam. A real fighter. Step away, you can't take the heat on the battleground. Neither of them have been telling us the truth. He attacked me. I would advise him to accept the deal. You lied in a sworn statement. Why would you do that? Why'd I lie? Because the truth gets me killed. You can't deny me now. Tunnel vision. If you want freedom, on the mission. you're gonna have to fight for it. Stop me now. The only way to get through a bigot's door was to break it down. You can't stop me now. Okay, so I'm a little confused, I think, with the tone of this trailer. This was a very kinetic trailer for what I feel is going to be mostly a courtroom drama. Which aren't very kinetic, usually. Yeah, you know, I mean, they, they've got those, like, up moments in there. So, you know, like the opening bar scene and then Josh Gad getting jumped, yeah. that type of thing. Ultimately, a lot of it is going to take place in the courtroom. And I, I, I'm not sure if the, the trailer is going to is accurately representing the tone of the movie that part of the trailer i felt i almost thought it kind of be maybe like distracting i don't mm -hmm. know but i do feel like a story that they're going to tell does look interesting i think chadwick Brosman brings a, a very interesting strength 
to, mm-hmm. and maybe even a little arrogance. Yeah, I think and I, I, I'm not saying that necessarily in a bad way. No. I think that he's, you know, really kind of taking that character of Thurgood Marshall as a young man, mm-hmm. uh, which, I, as you said earlier, you know, I don't know much about either. You know, I don't know how yeah. accurate that portrayal is, but I think it's interesting either way. You know, kind of that cocky lawyer. You know, he's taking on this case that you know doesn't seem like it's going to be winnable, like right. that type of thing. And yeah, I mean, I can definitely see Chadwick Boseman. That that hubris is probably something that has got him to this point. Yeah, um, I feel like that's the part of the character that you know that's why that's an important aspect to show and tell. Right. I still feel like it's going to be kind of like a To Kill a Mockingbird, maybe pace wise or you know story focus wise or. I still get. I still have this like time to kill mm-hmm. feel from it. This, not from this trailer, but one of my actual ideas of what the movie's going to feel like, pacing wise. Right. I think it has a really strong supporting cast as well. You know, I mentioned Josh Gad earlier. It looks like Kate Hudson's also going to be in this, and I think they're all going to really help support uh, Chadwick Boseman, who, like I said, I think is going to deliver a really strong performance. Uh, I'm a big fan of Josh Gad. I feel like he's. I feel like he's kind of on a roll. So I just like yeah. the idea that he's picked this movie. Yeah. Um, I think that. That's a promising sign for it, too. And I also thought Sterling K. Brown from The People vs. O.J. Simpson, or I first saw him, I thought he looked really powerful in this, too. I like seeing a nice ensemble cast in a movie like this. You know, again, if we, if this doesn't end up having that, like, real driving energy and it is a courtroom drama, those can get boring. So the performances are really what's going to yeah. carry it. So if all these people can deliver on what we're seeing in the trailer, you know, just the, the snippets of what I think their performances actually will end up being, uh, I, I think we're, we're in for something pretty cool do you think i guess maybe maybe even turning away from just thinking about this movie but just thinking about like the overall like branding that these trailers can do do you think this kind of if this movie is a lot slower than maybe this trailer is showing it that it's almost gonna like trick some audience members to see it opening night or opening weekend and do you think that'll hurt it overall i mean it's possible yeah we've talked about it before you know we did uh the murder on the orange express recently yeah and they it's that period piece with modern music thing that we you know we keep bringing up and i do feel like they do it for a specific reason because it does have a lot more kinetic energy than Mm -hmm. maybe something more period appropriate but you know, like you said, you run the risk of, uh, of misrepresenting what the movie actually is and the tone that you're actually going to get. So, yeah, I could see if some people may be dis- being disappointed in that. You know, we mentioned before this possibly being Oscar bait. I don't know if that yeah. if that's what I got from this trailer. But in a way, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Yeah. I, I think if they're trying to do something different, something interesting that, you know, maybe this the Academy isn't just going to cling on to, I think that is kind of an admirable thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd much rather see a movie that's being made and they're telling the story that they want to tell. Yeah. And if they think this is the best way to tell it, then, then just maybe pandering to the Oscar crowd. I don't feel like it's going to be in the Oscar consideration based off this trailer. Yeah. Um, maybe they cut the trailer a different way. It could, but it's possible. Ba- but based off this, I, I don't think it's going to be in that in that buzz. But I'm okay with that. I think they made the movie they wanted to make, and that's still a good thing. Yeah, I think if they had uh, maybe moved the era instead of doing this particular case when he was young and doing the actual like Brown versus Board of Education case, that probably would have pushed it there. into the realm of Oscar bait. But I think the movie that they made, not so much. But like you said, I'm all right, okay. Rob. You know how we do it. Midnight it, stream it, or forget it. Where are you at with Marshall? Uh, right now, I think I'm probably at stream it. I, I think the story could be interesting. I think the performances look like they could be there. Uh, I think tone is the only up in the air factor for me right now. Mm-hmm. You know, as we said, it's kind of, we don't know necessarily know what type of movie we're going to get. Like you said, the tone of the trailer, it could you know misrepresent, but if it's all like that, you know, it could come off as cheesy. Like there, there's a couple of different ways that that could go. I think I agree with you. I think I'm at stream it right now myself. I would like to see what a second trailer for this movie is going to look like because it's going to sure. actually tell you, I think, really where this movie lies Definitely. tonally. Um, I actually think I want this movie to be more of the courtroom drama mm-hmm. and, I th- th- and less of this really fast-paced kinetic thing. I don't know why. Um, it seems like an odd thing for me to say. Right. But uh, but we'll see. So right and 
you know, until I get a clearer picture, I think I might stream it. I think I'd really enjoy streaming it, but yeah, I might stream it. Definitely. All right, everybody, that's it for me and Rob. But we want to hear from you guys now in the comments below. What do you think about Marshall? Do you think that this movie's still Oscar bait? Do you think uh, tonally the movie's going to match up with this trailer? Let us know in the comments below. Also, hit that like and subscribe button to catch all of our upcoming videos. Until then, this is Car Ray Rob. I'm Ray. I'm Rob. So you ain't done nothing you shouldn't have done to me. What have I ever done to you? Like that time you got up in the middle of the night and drank up all the milk, then I got up to have my cornflakes and there was none left? Dewey, you cheated on me. Oh, so I'm a cheater, but you can drink up all the milk?